Masks and sanitizer added to the school supply list this year and the bill for PPE. Our Hillary Hahn talked to two school districts about the new cost added to this year's budget. As students get ready to rush back to the classroom, districts are running up bills in preparation amid the coronavirus pandemic. Ordering of PPE, new technology, putting a plan together. William Roundtree is a superintendent of about 600 students in the Carlisle School District. He says the CARES Act added about $86,000 to their budget, but that doesn't quite cover the money their rural school district has had to spend in order to reopen at the end of August. He knows it down to the cents. We spent about $109,784 worth of new technology, and we've spent uh, $12,224.78 worth of PPE, and that's probably not all that will be spent in those areas. When it comes to protecting the hundreds of students in the Carlisle School District, it's more than just making sure that those kids mask up. If you're riding a bus, which we're going to still bus, you'll be, uh, your temperature will be taken at the bus stop. Extra measures that come at a cost, one that's been racking up a lot higher in the Hot Springs School District that has over 3,500 students enrolled. Uh, to date, we've spent over $159,000 on PPE. District Media Coordinator Andrea Barnes wouldn't disclose how much it received from the CARES Act, but she says they're in good shape financially and stocked up. Face masks, and when I say that, I'm talking about three per child and two per staff member just to begin the school year. Like all districts, Hot Springs is doing what it can to prevent COVID-19 from creating a classroom disruption. Every type of PPE that we can get a hold of that's recommended we are purchasing and we will make sure our staff members and our students are equipped with what they need to feel safe. Big or small, both districts hope the preparations add up to an equation that eliminates the threat of COVID-19 for students when the morning bell rings on August 24th. In Central Arkansas, I'm Hillary Hunt.